This has Fab Piketto Electronics information practice test question says, what is the total resistance in the circuit? If you look at our circuit here, you can see that we have resistors that are in series as well as parallel. The first thing we have to do is calculate the total resistance of these two resistors that are in parallel with each other. And to do that, we're going to use this formula here. One over RT is going to be equal to one over R1. We're going to let R1 be 150 ohms. So that's one over 150 plus one over 100. All right, so all we have to do is simplify this. We're adding two fractions. To add fractions, they have to have a common denominator. 150 and 100 both go into 300 evenly. So we're going to rewrite these with a denominator of 300. To write 150 as 300, we have to multiply it by 2. We're also going to do that to its numerator. So this is 2 over 300. We're going to, to write 100 as 300, we have to multiply it by 3. So this is 3 over 300. This becomes 5 over 300. Again, uh, total resistance is 1 over RT. So this is going to be equal to 300 over 5, which is 60. So the total resistance of these two resistors that are in parallel is 60 ohms. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and calculate the total resistance in the circuit. Uh, this circuit and this circuit are in series. And now we know that the total resistance of these two resistors that are in parallel are 60 ohms. So we can actually use this formula now to calculate total resistance. RT is going to be equal to 85 ohms plus 60 ohms, which we just calculated, plus 175 ohms. I'm not going to do that math in this video. You should be able to do that mentally. That's going to be a total resistance of C, 320 ohms.